Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com, PaintballProps.com, and EngineeringShock.com. This is our uh, latest prop. This is a RFID-based actuator controller. Let me just introduce you to the hardware. Um, these are standalone RFID readers. This is the main controller. Um, it's got a wireless receiver on it as well. Let me place that down there. Uh, it comes with five power supplies, four 9-volt, one-amp power supplies, and one 12-volt 5 amp power supply for the actuator. The actuator comes with mounting hardware right there. And uh, these are obviously RFID cards. I've programmed this RFID card for this reader, this RFID card for this reader, and this RFID card for this reader, but you can reprogram different cards at any time. And uh, it's saved into EEPROM memory after you turn power off. So, uh, just for the sake of, uh, I'm going to show you how to program the RFID readers. You don't have to interface with the computer, it's all standalone. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to give a full demonstration of the unit, and uh, afterwards I'm going to sh uh, talk about some basic setup instructions. So, just for the sake of turning it off, uh, and I will turn it back on in a minute. I've got everything on one single power bar. I'll uh, power it back up. And uh, so, as you can see, when a the card that's programmed uh, is red, this LED turns on. If I use a card that isn't programmed, the reader detects the card, but the uh, but it doesn't activate the output. So what happens at this point? I can use uh, A and B to um, move the actuator forward or backwards. Once you press the button, it stays on for about a minute and a half. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these cards on top of the antennas and. Uh, you want to hold it. You want to have these antennas behind something so the players can't uh, fidget with it. But as soon as I have all three cards uh, that are programmed on all of the antennas, the uh, the actuator extends fully. So you can use this to um, open up a, a secret compartment or open a door. Um, basically whatever your heart desires. I provide the electronics, you make it your own. So I can make this set with one RFID reader, but this is the ultimate set. It's obviously uh, got a, a, a more of a dollar value to it, but uh, it's very easy to set up, very easy to program. Um, and what I've also got here is a key module that's connected to the main board. Now, the uh, controller board has turned, has, uh, has turned off the actuator. It, power is no longer being applied. So now what I do, to restart the game, put my key into the key module, which is mountable and removable from the board. I turn it right, and I can turn it left immediately if I want to, but I've also got a reminder on uh, programmed into the uh, main board to say, hey, the key is still turned right, you have to turn it left. So once that's fully extended, what's going to happen, if I still have the key turned right, is the red and green LEDs, which signify forward and backward, uh, they will just flash back and forth until I turn the key left, which resets the system. Power is not removed from the RFID boards. The RFID board outputs are connected to three different rails right here via these extension wires. Every single RFID set, see there you go, has its own power supply and its own antenna, obviously. So at this point I turn the key left in case I've forgotten to. You can do it immediately, this is just a reminder, I turn it left, it resets the system. So, um, I can press A or B to, uh, at this point, during the beginning, if I want to, um, if at the beginning of the game I want to, uh, extend it, oh, I press backwards. A is backwards, B is forward. So I press backwards, so that's going to be on for a minute and a half. Um, uh, in any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset power, just to show you how to program these wonderful RFID readers. And it's very easy, and you follow this step for all three of them. I'm just going to reprogram a different card. This is the card we just programmed. I'm going to put that aside right here and I'm going to reprogram this card. So I'm going to power back up and as you can see that card is re that re uh, unit reads this card. That LED lights up for this card. What happens with this card? Nothing because I haven't programmed in this card. This card is used for this module. So I'm going to reprogram it. There's four keys down here. Key 1, key 2, key 3, key 4. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in this order 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4. And the program LED comes on. 
the leftmost LED comes on. So at this point, I press key one, my only carryable key one. Press and hold it. Place the card that you want to program on top of the reader. As you can see, it detects it. Let go. Now I probably want to press key two and key four at the exact same time. And that places us back into scanning mode. So now this card is programmed for output one, not this card. So let's talk about some setup instructions. I'm going to give you a close-up of the board in just a minute, but just from this perspective, while I've got everything hooked up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how everything is hooked up. Uh, the key module connects to the um, to the rightmost uh, pins of this four-pin header. Uh, they're labeled SW and SW for switch. So when you turn the key, uh, it connects those two pins together. Now, the RFID modules, I'm just going to turn off power. Uh, in any case, uh, I've got red in the bottom here, black in the top of the, this uh, terminal block, and for the actuator itself, it has two wires, blue and brown. Blue goes in the top terminal from this perspective, brown goes in the bottom. Um, it's very simple. There is a 9 volt 1 amp power supply that goes into uh, here, which powers the digital circuitry. I wanted to isolate the actuator circuitry from the, uh, from the digital circuitry for two reasons. Uh, the digital circuitry controls two relays, so that's taking 9 volts down to 5 volts, and so there's a little bit of heat on the uh, regulator there. Now, the re now, if I use 12 volts, that heat would be significant, whereas for 9 volts, it's not. As well, the actuator uh, has some EMI on the line, and I've got diodes to protect, but at the same time, I wanted to isolate so that it worked well every single time. And I've cycled this board more than 100 times. It works great. Um, so... Uh, actuator, from the top down to the bottom, actuator, blue, brown, uh, 12 volt 5 amp power supply, black, red, and I've actually got that, uh, there's, it doesn't really matter which way you hook this up, uh, but if you want it to work as you've seen it in the video, you want to go from the top, uh, blue, brown, black, red, and you want to have everything on the same power supply rail, uh, this is 9 volt 1 amp, and the same goes for all of the RFID readers. So now I'm going to give you a close up of the board and show you how to hook up uh, everything piece by piece. And we've talked about the power supply for the digital, digital circuitry, power supply for the actuator, and the actuator connection itself. But now you have a close up of, uh, of the rest of the board. Now, of this 4 pin header, here's the key module. Comes with two keys, by the way. And uh, sorry if it's a little bit blurry up close. I'm going to connect this, and it doesn't matter which way I connect this, to the rightmost pins. Leave the leftmost pins alone. So my key module is now connected. As for the RFID units, it doesn't matter what order you hook them up in, but you can see three headers right here. Uh, the This does matter. The RFID um, connectors have a red wire and a black wire. This is very important. You have to follow this perfectly. Uh, black wire to the top of the board, red wire to the bottom. Triple check that every, uh, when you when you hook up your RFID modules. That is very very important. Uh, red to the bottom from this perspective, black to the top. And follow that for all three RFID readers. When all of them are sending a uh, positive pulse to the main board, it activates uh, the uh, it activates the actuator. Now, if you want to start the actuator in a for in an extended position, and uh, and when it's activated, it retracts it. We can do that very easily. In fact, you can do that at your end simply by switching the polarity of the actuator wires. It's very simple. So that is the um, RFID based uh, actuator linear actuator controller escape room prop. I don't really have a name for it yet, but this board I've made so I can customize with many different, uh, for many different uh, actuator slash escape room uh, applications. If you have any ideas, please feel free to message us through escaperoomelectronics.com uh, or paintballprops.com or engineeringshock.com. I'll have this, the link for this uh, up as soon as I have it listed. Thanks for watching everyone.